Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire takes a surprising turn with Phoebe, allowing her to do something that had previously seemed impossible in the Ghostbusters franchise. A consistent element of the franchise has always been the way the spirits are portrayed in the films. Although there have been some benign specters in prior movies and Egon's ghost actively helped the heroes in Ghostbusters, Afterlife, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire's characters take the time to theorize about what happens to ghosts after they're captured or make their way to the other side. Phoebe and Ray both reflect on what existing like a ghost would be, while the potential threat of an overflowing ghost containment unit is brought up multiple times. It gives the film a chance to examine what happens to ghosts after they're captured by the Ghostbusters. This is explored more in-depth by Phoebe later in the film, as she finds a way to briefly experience a ghostly existence. It's an interesting turn for the film to take and highlight some of the new advanced paranormal technology that has been added to the world of Ghostbusters. Phoebe becomes a ghost without dying in Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. McKenna Grace looking up as Phoebe in Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. One of the most surprising parts of Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire's ending sees Phoebe briefly become a ghost herself, even though she never actually dies. A lot of the film takes place in the new paranormal research facility backed by Winston, which is dedicated to expanding their understanding of ghosts. This includes a new machine that can pull the spirit from an object or person. This device is primarily used to separate spirits from cursed items that have been brought to the group, and is an indicator of how far their technology has come since the early days of the Ghostbusters. Phoebe proves that the device also works on living people in Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. After expressing curiosity about what it's like to be a ghost with Ray, Phoebe gets the opportunity to experience this firsthand. Notably, the device doesn't kill the person. Instead, the machine can be set up to separate a spirit from a physical body for a short span of time. After two minutes, the human regains consciousness and their spirit is automatically is pulled back into their body. This allows Phoebe to briefly showcase a ghost form while still being alive.